All of the courses that we offer in this department are research-led. This means that the lecturers who are delivering the material to you are active in their research fields and the material you're learning is specialist material which will equip you to begin a career working close to the forefront of the subject. The research my team's involved in is uh, along the lines of something called serious games and what we're doing is we're taking the technology that underpins high street games and we're trying to use that to build serious applications for defence and surgery and uh, some mental health care and so on. Virtual Soleil is one of our heritage projects and we've been working with the Royal Navy and with the National Marine Aquarium in Plymouth basically to do a 3D reconstruction of the wreck they sank back in 2004 and what we're trying to do is to introduce what we call artificial life to simulate the colonisation of the wreck so that school kids and even marine biologists who cannot dive can visit the wreck and simulate how for example the species develop and what happens if the temperature of the sea rises as a result of climate change. My research is into trying to understand the properties of new materials that we can build into microwave devices. Now these materials are structurally similar to ceramics. We're making very thin layers, perhaps a millionth of a metre thick, maybe a thousandth of a millionth of a metre thick, and then we're looking at trying to understand and control the electronic properties of those materials. The main challenges of the research are the fact that the railway is a large, complex system and there's assets and parts of the system all over the country. So we need to make things work reliably and safely. For example, if you take something like a point machine on a busy line, that may be several miles from a, a station or a signal box, and therefore we need to be sure that it's working properly all the time. My research covers all areas of communications engineering, ranging from physics, how radio waves bounce around buildings and over valleys and rivers and hills, all the way to how antennas work, how radio systems work, how radio networks work, and then how networks, very small and very big, as big as the internet itself, are functioning.